The people in this small community are trying something different this Christmas. They're bringing Santa Claus to a refugee center to give children something joyous to remember after all they've been through. Ho, ho, ho! No sleigh for this Santa. He's arriving in a big horse-drawn carriage. Local children join those from Syria, Iraq, and the Palestinian-occupied territories. Whatever the kid's religion may be, the man in the red suit needs no introduction. Baba Noel. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Ala, Anas, Osama, and Tarek are from Syria. They arrived in Germany two weeks ago. The horse and buggy ride is a welcome switch from the monotony of the refugee children's existence here, especially the horses. They're a big hit with these boys. The kids are so enamored with the animals that they almost missed the main event, the gifts, for all 45 children living at this center. Before, we decorated trees and baked cookies together so that newcomers could get familiar with our traditions and we could get to know them. 17-year-old Amira and her family have had no home for years. She's been in Germany two months. On this day, she's working as Santa's assistant. People are asking me if I can translate for them, and I say, yes, I can. It's not hard. I speak English, Arabic, and a little German. I wish I spoke better German, though. Allah's Christmas present is a skateboard. Now it's Tarek's and Anna's turn. The people of Jutabog raised 1,500 euros to buy all these gifts. The two boys got a puzzle and a gift certificate at an electronic store. Where you go? The computer? Computer. Before the Jutabog Santa leaves, the kids gather for photos, although Ala seems a bit shy for a close-up. Maybe because it's the first time he's ever posed with Santa Claus.